Good afternoon. This is Bob Luz, President and CEO of the Massachusetts Restaurant Association. One year ago today, March 15th, was a Sunday, and it's etched in my mind forever. I awoke to a call from Mayor Marty Walsh and Development Chief John Barrows from the City of Boston when they informed me that they would be restricting some restaurants and bars over St. Patrick's Day and asked me to stand with the mayor at the news conference that afternoon. During the day, I also had numerous conversations with Lieutenant Governor Polito, and by evening, Governor Baker announced the first industry closure, restaurants, that would be effective March 17th. I obviously do not need to tell any of you how awful this past year has been, because you have lived it 24-7. For three months, we were almost fully closed, and we lost 3,400 restaurants that never reopened once we were permitted to. That is a huge number, but each and every single one of those closures is a gut-wrenching story in and of itself. That being said, I have also continued to be awed by the resiliency, the passion, and the unending entrepreneurial and philanthropic spirit from each of you that makes up our industry and makes it the greatest of all. Every single conversation I've had with an owner or a manager during this past year hasn't started with a talk about losses of revenues or profit. It started with two words, my employees. In fact, I know your business model shifted to how can I break even so as to keep my people employed during the past year? You have fed your employees and their families when you didn't have two nickels to rub together. You continued to take care of our communities feeding those first responders, those on the front lines, and those most in need. Your efforts, and unfortunately your losses, have frankly brought me to tears numerous times over these past 12 months. They've inspired me and our team at the Mass Restaurant Association, along with our friends at the National, to work tirelessly on your behalf. And yes, in the mindset of hashtag together we win, We've accomplished a lot in our quest to assist all operators to get to the other side, and we did it with your help. Initially, we had to work hard and quick to make sure restaurants were deemed essential businesses to continue to take out and delivery. We worked to get beer, wine, and mixed drinks to go. We got the first level of PPP authorized, and then we quickly worked to fix it to make sure it worked for our industry. We worked on getting restaurants finally reopened on June 8th outdoors and June 22nd indoors. We got the outdoor door permitting, uh, dining permitting process relaxed to make it easier to expand your premises and serve alcohol outside. We, got, we worked with our great partners at the wholesalers and, and beer distributors to get an interest-free payment plan that worked for, to make sure that everybody stayed in compliance on alcohol regulations. We worked with cities and towns to waive fees. We worked on third-party delivery ghosting and delivery fee caps. We worked with the governor's team, most importantly, to get $668 million in grants, the largest state grant program in the country, with restaurants at the front of the bus. We worked to get a second round of PPP authorized. We worked recently to protect the tip credit at a federal level. We worked to make sure that there was no taxes on PPP here in Massachusetts, and we, and we worked to get unemployment insurance savings that were so desperately needed. And finally, last week, we culminated with the work together with a lot of groups on the Restaurant Recovery Fund, uh, getting $28.6 billion in restaurant-specific grants that will be coming, along, uh, coming out shortly. And along the way, we worked with our terrific business partners uh, who have stayed by us uh, through all of this in many, many different ways, but helped us really importantly as we raised $100,000 for employees uh, in our industry through our telethon, and we distributed more than $50,000 uh, in grocery store gift cards to employees that had no, no other place to turn. Uh, bottom line is we have been the voice of the industry with the government, the media, and the general public. And now, as we sort of are rounding the curve here and ent entering into spring, for the first time, I think the restaurant industry, our, our business partners, our operators, our, our great employees, we can all finally see the other side. It's still a dangerous swim to get to that shoreline, 
but we have a renewed strength um, because we can now see it. We have a vaccination program that's rolling out quicker and quicker these days. We have outdoor dining coming back, which frankly was the only silver lining in this whole pandemic for restaurants. We have a renewed confidence for our guests that may not have been into our dining room for maybe a year now, and they're going to come back into our four walls. And we've got events and functions ready to go for the first time, and we've got a tourism season that's coming back shortly, and I do believe that that's going to happen. And we're going to continue working until we make sure, until we get our bars and nightclubs up. The one missing piece. I want to, on this sad anniversary, I want to thank each and every one of you for the sacrifice that you and your teams and your employees have had to make during the darkest days our industry has ever endured. On behalf of myself the team at the MRA, my counterparts at the National, please know that we will continue to work on every angle that we can to assist you in your recovery until we fully are back to the vibrant industry that we were last March 1st. Thank you.